Jimbo here. This is going to be the first in an ongoing series of videos that I'm going to present called Shaving with Jimbo. And what those are going to be about is something that I discovered recently called method shaving. Method shaving is kind of the, the scientific and therapeutic approach to shaving that I feel makes it a lot less of a chore and a lot more, I'm going to call it pampering. You know, it's something that I kind of look forward to uh, the same way that a female would look towards a spa treatment, for example. You know, it's something that just lets you unwind, unfold, and you just feel better when you're done with it. And in this series, I'm going to be going over everything from some of the products I use. I'm going to be trying out new products and telling you what I think uh, to some of the, the methods that I use and the techniques and whatnot, and just the overall philosophy and approach that I have to this in this new newly discovered hobby of mine. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and we're going to go ahead and get to my shaving kit next, and we're going to move on uh, to the art of method shaving itself, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're here in my bathroom and I thought that I would show you some of the items that I use in my shaving kit that make my shaving experience a bit more enjoyable. First, we'll start off with my brush. I've got a Tweezerman Badger brush. I got this recently as a bit of an upgrade uh, to the standard brush. There's more or less two kinds of shaving brushes out there, guys. There's a Badger brush and then there's a Boar's Hair brush. To give you an example, this is my original brush. This is a Boar's Hair brush. I know this is probably not going to show up that well on screen, but the Boar's Hair brush is a little bit more coarse and uh, doesn't seem to hold moisture nearly as well as a badger brush. This is really, really soft. It uh, feels almost like kind of a mink coat, and it absorbs water literally like a sponge, which I will show you later. Okay, next we have my shaving mug. Um, I have a vintage shaving mug. This is actually made by the Old Spice Company uh, back in the, I think, the 60s, 70s, 80s. They actually don't make these anymore, but you can get them in your secondary markets like eBay, and for not too much money, I think 10 or $15. Um, as you can notice, this mug is a lot shorter uh, than a conventional coffee mug, which is normally coming up to about like right there. Uh, the reason for that is, and I speak from experience on this, guys, is it helps you build the lather. And how it does that is, instead of a standard coffee mug, you know, coming up to yay, um, and when you're trying to build a lather, the handle's basically banging around on the ridge on the rim of the mug. And again, I tried that, and it's not really all that easy to work with. So, in having the uh, shorter mug, basically it focuses on the brush sitting inside of the mug, so that basically only the brush is there swirling around and helping you build the lather, and it really does make a very, very huge difference. Okay, next we'll move on to my razor. Uh, another really special, you can get this at any grocery store out there, it's the Schick Hydro 3. Um, there also is a Schick Hydro 5. I personally feel that 5 blades is a bit of overkill when it comes to shaving. I'm honestly starting to think that 3 blades may be a little bit more than I need and might go down to 2. But for now, um, this is definitely sufficient. It gives a really good shave. Uh, one thing you have to keep in mind is to make sure that your razor is very, very sharp. Um, I try to change out my razor blade about every four to five shaves or so, and then I'll ditch it and I'll replace the head and go with a new blade because it's, it's really got to be sharp to ensure that you've got a nice comfortable shave. Okay, then we'll move on to my shaving soap. I've got the standard shaving soap in there that you can get from any um, drugstore or whatnot. I think it came with this. Actually, I don't recall the name of the company. Uh, it comes in a little green package. You can get it at Walgreens. It's just kind of the nondescript soap. But I uh, recently upgraded to the Colonel Conk brand of glycerin soap. Um, glycerin soap is made from fat. Um, if any of you have seen Fight Club, when Tyler Durden is harvesting fat uh, from the cellulite clinic, um, he makes it, uses it to make soap. Um, that's kind of the traditional way of making soap. Long before industrial chemicals and things like that were, in, were introduced, people just made it from animal fat. And the Colonel Kong Company basically does the same thing, but they order they they add a few more uh, botanicals and things like that. Like for example, this has avocado oil, vitamin E, etc. And it's their amber scent. Um, I find the scent to be very very pleasing on this. It's got that kind of fresh zesty feel to it, with a little hint of citrus. And on top of that, the glycerin soap, as compared to the regular soap, lathers a lot better. It's a lot foamier. It's a lot creamier. And overall, I feel it's just a way better product. Okay, and then we'll move on to my appliques here, uh, the trifecta. Uh, first, and this should, in my opinion, be the first step when it comes to shaving, uh, this is the Everman Jack brand face scrub. It's a basic exfoliator. Uh, you can get it at virtually any grocery store. I think I got this at Shoppers Food Warehouse uh, for just a few dollars, five or six bucks. And what the purpose of that is, is to kind of prepare your skin for the shave. You know, it helps your whiskers stand on end and it kind of helps open up your pores and massage it into your face. Just preparing your face overall for the intensity of the shave. Okay, and next um, we have the Real Shaving Company. Again, these are very common. Um, Walgreens does carry these, I think, nationwide. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. 
and uh, the Real Shave Company has been around for quite a while and they make shave creams, they do make a facial scrub, um, aftershave, all that kind of stuff. I'm trying out their shaving cream and the first question you might ask is, wait a second, if you've got a shaving soap, why do you need shaving cream? Well, some guys prefer the cream, some guys prefer the soap. I personally think they work extremely well in tandem. Um, I use the soap kind of to build the base lather, you know, to get the initial aeration oxygenation inside the soap building a nice foam, and I use this to kind of finish it off. You do not need a really a lot of shaving cream. This is not like at all like the shaving cream that you get in aerosol can. I hate that stuff, and it's not it's not cream to me. That's like just bleh. you know it's it's just very very chemical to me, and there's nothing really natural about it. This is honestly just like a cream that comes out almost like a lotion, and you only need about maybe this much of it, and it comes out in a very uh, shallow stream. And I use it again in tandem with the soap to build an even richer lather and just take it one step further. Okay, and then we have my aftershave balm. Um, I'm trying this out recently, it's from a company called Urban Cowboy, H-E-R-B-A-N, like herbal. Um, they're kind of specialized in the all natural stuff. Um, this is made with carrot and cucumber and rosemary and all kinds of other natural botanicals and stuff like that. Um, it does have a very, very small hint of alcohol in it, but it's a special type of alcohol called called uh, sideral alcohol, which is just residual alcohol. It's not like the same thing that you would find in a cologne, for example. And the reason I went with this is when you're when you're done shaving, you know, and you've got all those, you know, millions and millions type of, you know, micro abrasions on your skin, the last thing you want to do is start throwing alcohol in there and irritating your skin. So I went the all natural route and I, I'll level with you, I've been extremely pleased with this. This is a very, very good product. It's very, very soothing. It gives you that cool kind of feeling, but it also moisturizes your skin and just helps finish things off, and it's got a really great mild scent to it. Okay, and lastly, um, no, guys, this is not a tampon. It's not a woman's product. This is a styptic pencil. Um, it actually kind of looks like a piece of chalk uh, when you see it in person. And um, the point of a styptic pencil is... Basically, when you get a nick or a cut or something like that, um, you just kind of apply this, you know, straight to the nick or the cut, and it just stops the bleeding like that. I've only had to use it a couple of times. Um, I'm normally pretty careful when I shave, but I will say it does the job. That in itself is less than $2 at virtually any grocery store. They're very common, been around for a very long time. So, well, now that we've got the, uh, the kit breakdown out of the way, what do you say we get to it and we start shaving?